Knowing how to invest and save for the future can sometimes feel like a daunting task. So here to help you avoid the top mistakes investors make is our money and business expert, Derek Kenny. Hi, Derek. Hi, Dia. Great to see you. Now, you say the first mistake is not investing because you feel like you don't have enough money. Why do so many people feel that way? Well, and it's easy to feel that way because they feel overwhelmed thinking they've got to have so much money to even make progress. And what I would tell people is you can start in many cases with as little as $50 a month. The key is to get started. And I like to say, basically do a financial x-ray on where you stand right now today. And that's your starting point. So whatever age you are, start today and start with what you can and gradually increase that. You'll begin to be proud of the progress you're making. The next mistake people make, Derek, is they pick too many investments. Why is that an issue? Well, the key here is there's such a thing as over diversification. So let's say, for example, that I've got a client and they've got 10 mutual funds. When you overlay all those funds, you realize most of the funds all have the same company. So you might think because they're different company funds, they're diversified, they're actually over diversified in the same things, over concentrated, and that can actually cause you more risk. So you want to make sure that each person that you invest with knows what you have so you have a cohesive plan. You don't want to lose all your money if something bad were to happen. Now the third investing mistake is selling when your investments drop in value. Why should people not do that, not get too excited to kind of start dumping their assets? Yeah, this is the classic investor mistake, Dia, and here's why. It's human nature. When you see yourself losing money, you panic and you want to stop. But, for example, if you see a sale at Target or Nordstrom Rack, well, you're going. The price drops you want to buy, that's actually the same attitude you want to have with your investments. If it's a quality stock, a good valued investment, if the value drops, ask yourself, this could be a time to actually add more money to it. Most people who become millionaires do it by buying low and then selling high, not the opposite. Derek, you also say the biggest mistake people make is not setting up an automatic investing plan. Okay, how should they do it? Because there are people still in 2024 who don't even like to do automatic pay for bills. <laughs> You're exactly right. And what I would tell people is, listen, you never want there to be more month left than there is money. If you've got to make a choice of I'm going to go party with my friends this weekend or save for retirement, you're probably going to pick the first option unless you do set and forget where the first of the month, like a bill, you have $50, $100, whatever it is automatically drafted from your account into your investments, you never see it, you never get to say bye to it, you never get to choose if you're going to spend it, it's set and forget, it's one of the best tools successful investors use to accumulate money. Derek, I'm gonna throw one more at you since we have a little bit of time left. It's obvious the cost of everything is up right now. So people are feeling a bit of that pinch. Talk about some of just the reward, whether it's short term, medium term or long term of starting that investment process, even if it's a tiny bit right now. Well, the key is you're gonna see making progress and there's never a perfect time to get started unless it's today. You just wanna get started, then you can course correct along the way. And here's what I would tell people. In the same way, Dia, that I encourage people to reward themselves when they pay off debt, reward yourself when you've saved an amount of money. Maybe it's my first thousand dollars or five thousand dollars. Go out to dinner with a friend or the person you love the most and celebrate. That way it's positive reinforcement to keep doing what's going to help you financially. Derek Kenny with the Good Money Framework, we appreciate you and your insight as always. Thank you, Dia. Appreciate